We're trying to go and look for the mother chicken because one chicken hatched a peacock baby. It sat on a peacock egg and then here comes the peacock baby and she thinks it is her baby but it's a peacock baby. It's under her but she's... Alright, hold on. She's uh, sitting on her... She's sitting on her baby but she's very protective. She's uh, like... She takes care of that baby like it is... Nobody can get close to that. You see? You see that is a peacock baby. There's a peacock baby hatched up and the mama, very very strong mama, she chased our cat yesterday all the way. All the way out of the coop because she was like nobody gonna mess with my chicken baby. Uh-huh, but that's good, you know, that's a peacock baby. She doesn't know that. Once she's grow older she will realize it. <laughs> It's not a chicken, but you know, that's the beauty of the farm. All the animals support each other, they adopt, you know. Yeah, sometimes it's good to have less brains, like the animals, they're so simple, you know, they don't care if it's their baby or somebody else's baby. They have the affection and they will take care of it, you know, they don't think too much about it. And she was attacking that cat yesterday, like uh, that uh, that baby, you know, can't be touched. And she was putting her life, <laughs> trying to defend that chick, uh, that, that her baby. But uh, let's go and look at the white peacock. All right, come, come on, let's go. All right, let's go this way. Let's go that way. Yeah, this is my target dummy for doing some training. Look at the target, it also keeps the birds away. You see, it's where <laughs> it's my training, my training dummy. <laughs> when the paint is coming up now, it has been a while since I used it. But it's supposed to have light, you know, it used to blink and you can hit on the target to, um, to attack that, which part of the body you want to attack. And it's like for martial arts kind of people to train. That's one of my hobbies, martial arts. So those lights, when they blink, you can attack the target uh, just for reaction response time. All right, baby, let's go. Let's go. Uh -huh. Oh, what? The dog? Okay, all right, all right. I'm gonna hold you. Come. All right. All right. She wanted me to hold her because she was walking too fast to catch some good video. She's like, hey, I want you to carry me. All right, so that is the white peacock, you see? There's the white peacock. She's dancing for the female. So beautiful. That's how they look when they are fully matured and he's very young. He's uh, maybe two years old and so very young. Two or three at the most. So he's not even a teenager. Very beautiful. <laughs> you wanna go and say hi to the peacock? You wanna go say hi? Mm -hmm. Alright, go say hi. <laughs> Daddy come. Alright. There we go, see? He's done his dance. That's how they attract their females. So beautiful. 
Alrighty. So, okay, let, baby, let's walk back. Let's see what's going on the other side of the farm. The rainwater harvesting going very well. So all the rainwater comes into those barrels. The sediment barrel, that's a sediment. It catches all the first rainwater from the roof. All the sediment will kind of settle there and then from halfway from the top, the good water filters down into this big cistern. This is about 1100 gallons. So it filters down and that's like 250 gallon um, tote. So that's how it is. It's all the way the roof water comes from the top. It goes, and it goes underground because I did not want to put one from the top. So I put underground, it comes up, goes up from the top, goes, the water goes in. All the sediment settle and then comes from the, somewhere from the, just above the half, half mark level. The good water gravity feeds into the big one. So I don't have to clean much of the big one because all the sediment goes in the small one. So you just clean out the small one. So it's going very well. This is what I use for my drip, rainwater drip irrigation system. That's why all the plants are very green and doing very well because the rainwater is the best for the plants. It's very natural. Or the soil is very good as well.